at week eighteen, and、um, let's start with Lillian's. So Lillian's, um, she's doing something completely different. Um, not completely, but、uh, yeah, she does have a lot of neat things that I like. I think there is a fox right here, some kind of animal. I mean, um, there's a bunch of penguins, I think, and then there is these, um, the ice in between, and there is this bear. Oh, okay, I like that she had this the shadow here. So there's a bunch of different things, and um, these are definitely penguins. I can tell, but I will hope that the I will hope like these areas could be like here. L like um, the penguins usually have their black and white. Um. They usually have really obvious black and white. So next time, maybe you she can add the add these black、uh, wings with color pencil, or she could use a tiny little brush with black ink. So just more ideas for her.、Um, this one looks pretty cute overall. I would probably. Wanted the、uh, well, I guess these are the C. So I'm thinking this is the C, but I was hoping like we could have a horizon somewhere, so I know where's the sky and where is the the bottom of the sea. So I mean, um, yeah. Okay, let's see who's the next one. So very nice, and I I really like this part. Like I think this part is cute, but I would also wanted this to be black. Just more things for you guys to know, like this. I would have preferred this to be black, so there's more contrast. Um, yeah. So I think next time we will just color in together, something like that. That will help you guys know when to color this. But I like the red part; it's so cute. Okay, and I wanted to share. Adrian did this last week. It was brilliant. I I think this is so cute. So I think. I asked him about this. He said this is a monkey. I think it was a green monkey with a sword. I have no clue how he got the sword to be pointy like this. And then there's a dog here.、Um, it looks kind of scary, but I think he he has a he made a really good good effort. So, like things will not be perfect when you guys are doing this on your own. But I think this is a very very great. Exercise and brilliant! I love the color that he did here on his collar. It's cute, and、um, I think if he were to add a little bit of white here, and then after the white, he would add in the black again. That will make completely. That will. That will. Yeah. That will just make this eyes look so much better. So if this was white, and then he add in another black to it, so. Just,、uh, but yeah, I think this is fine. I love you guys' creativities. This is so cool. So I saw that. So I was like, "What is that? That's brilliant!" And I love all the clothes here. So even though it's not perfect, you no, know, I, I, I really, really like this one. It's just super cool. And、um, this one is Blair's. This one's so cute as well. So Blair did this dolphin right here. And then、um, she had this glow right here in the back.、Um, there's a like a white、um, sparkle. I mean, like a reflection from the、um, like like a light reflection. And then she has all these in、um, all these little lines, and she made this super cute. I mean, she's a little bit older, so obviously. The writings will look a lot better, and then all these down here are the anatomies, and they are pretty. So I am, I think this one's really cute. I like this one as well. I think they did a really nice job. And let's see, Renato wanted to share this one. I did not share this one last week. Um, this is like brilliant. I was. 
asking him, "How did he make the animal stand up?" That was the question that I had. I was like, "Um, this is so cool." So these are different animals that represent their family members. So obviously, one person was the rat, the chicken, the dragon, and the monkey, which kind of looks like a bear. So I think the monkey needed like some black thing right here, or maybe a white and then black.、Um, yeah, I was just kind of thinking that might look better with black. And、um, so I think this is so cool.、Uh, I was not expecting this at all, and but I am. I love that he made it work. So the what this is a birthday、um, card for his dad. And、um, I think he used some kind of panel to make all these stand up. So this is like really really cool. And he he spent like I don't know six hours on that.、Um, to f- yeah. So I think this one's definitely like something pretty cool. And there's a lot of details.、Uh, Related to this, I mean, there's a lot of detail on this. Like he made the chicken stand up, that was really hard. So I think he probably used a toothpick. Um, he used a he must have used a toothpick inside here to make them stand up. And um, yeah, otherwise they would have fall, obviously. So, anyways, let's go to our um Antarctica. Project. So this one is Aiden's. Everybody had to design their own podcast、um, podcast、uh, cover, and Aiden's is really cute. So I would hope again next time I'm going to color this one in、um, right away. So everybody color this one in. So this one is the frozen lake. <laughs> Okay, I like this one. So I think this one's really, really cute. Um, we did all these things. I told him to um use Sharpie and retrace his eyes, but I love this one. I think it turned out really pretty. Like the colors, that is amazing. So he did what I asked, and I think it's great. And it looks it's so pretty. And it has that like a mood. It has a mood to it. So this one's Callie's. Okay,、oh, okay, not that bad. I think Callie's is kind of cute too. Um, she kept on changing her mind because I think she kind of didn't like the mountain that she had. So we kind of start changing it to a trees. But I think this is already really really good. Um, compared to what, like, a lot of students who have been doing watercolor for a while, and I you know I'm sky, I'm just so proud of you guys. So she have these shadows right here that I ask. So <gasps> very nice, and then、um, yeah. So I think it makes more sense once she did it in Sharpie. It was kind of more obvious. So I think this is pretty. I'm not really sure if her mom helped her at all, but I think this one's cute. I would probably prefer this to be in watercolor、um, for the hat, just the accessories. Next time she can color in with、um, watercolor, so it will be even like cute, <laughs> um, cuter. And yeah, I think I like this one. This one's really cute. <laughs> She has fifty-two thumbs up, thumbs down. Ooh, twenty twenty thousand thumbs up. Very nice. Okay, so I like this one. What happened here, Kelly? I think she probably meant the video was running up to up to here, and then was finishing up towards there. But anyways, looks looks good overall. I just wanted you guys to get on with the idea of. You know, a podcast, a theme, a cover. Okay, this one's Charlotte. This one is really cute too. Um, she was asking why does she have this in the background? Sometimes it's just not enough water, and then like when when she layer things up, 
um like this one was still wet but this one already dried up it was kind of hard but like um she complained but i think it still looks pretty good like it's not going to be perfect at this age so i think this is already really 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 good and the fact that you know you guys kind of spent quite a lot of time with the animals so like the um, the the water is not gonna be like all perfect but but that's fine um i'm looking for improvements of course and i was hoping we could have more buttons but i guess they're not listening to podcast so i was not like tuning in but anyways i think this is cute great job charlotte i love the colors i'm glad that you've worked out all these colors and let's see Aaron's. <laughs> Okay, this one's Aaron. This is really cute. Okay, so I see a lot of penguins, and there's an igloo, and the shadow is there. Okay, and I like the mountains here. Um, I think um, I think she used a really small brush for these. That's why I was not like um spreading out. So, but I think that's just like something small. Um, I think next time I would probably prefer she could have like a another color, something a little bit um less less um like in between this color and that like in between here something like this color, and add it to here to make the outline so our mountains would be more obvious. But I think this is really cute. Um, I think she did a very nice job. Um, again with the penguins. So when we are doing penguins, I was hoping sometimes we could keep their belly white, or like some or their face white, something like that. And I think the the penguins usually have this monkey face right here that like like this and this part would be kind of black but i think it's pretty hard to do it with um a small brush especially in watercolor so you know just do us like try your best and i think this is really cute um i do hope next time let's all color in these buttons and then these buttons will be color in so yeah i think this is cute uh, i think she spent a lot of time on the animals that's why she didn't really have time to do a lot of other things so but er very nice erin this is really cool okay let's see who's next so okay this one's india's um india's I was taking a screenshot of her work, so it's not very clear, but um, yeah, this is really great too. So I see there's an outline here. So yeah, I I I could see that the mountains and the back the sky were different colors. So that's good, I like that, and I like the fact there is a shadow here for the horizon line and uh, everything looks so cute and she has a lot of ideas she wanted to do a mommy bear and i like the shadows here so good job good job on the shadows um the younger kids will not get the shadow but yeah it takes some time okay wait wait let me see so she has a lot of thumbs up thumbs down and I, i'm glad that she colored all these in black because it does make a difference um it just makes things look more complete and it, it gives it look like a better look to it too okay so this one's Kaden's. so Kaden is doing pretty well i think he was putting a lot of um either a lot of pressure on the paper and then the paper starting to rip not rip like it's starting to wear out so you see all these crumple that means the paper is not liking it he's like ah, stop rubbing me i don't like you rubbing me okay and i wanted to tell kaden next time can we try to draw a straight line but i think it's not a big deal but uh just something a straighter line would make a little bit more sense and i think he did this bear right here 
um yeah if you guys are outlining the bear it should be completely dry so i am not sure if that was the issue so there's an igloo here which is very nice um yeah so i think he's in i think he's doing what i asked um and i think these all these buttons here are very nice so but i i do hope next time let's try to keep everything a little bit cleaner a little bit neater oh you have 230 million thumbs down <laughs> what okay and there's like 600 million stars whoa very cool okay all right so some cool things and then let's see mia's Ooh, oh, this one's so cute. Okay, so Mia's a little bit older. She has been in class for a longer period of time. And wow, oh, this is very, very nice. So um, I like the fact that she has these in the back. And then the the color tones here, uh, there's, there's like, there seems to be three colors. So three tones of color for the mountain. So that's great. And uh, the igloos here. Okay. I think I, if I were to give a suggestion, to give, an, to give a um, suggestion, I would probably ask her to use maybe um, pencil and just make some parts a little bit thicker. Like see what, what I'm doing right now. Like I would probably make some lines a little bit thicker and some lines smaller like oh this is so cute and yeah just making the shadows a little bit darker something like that and that will be like really really that will balance with the mountains in the back so we're i mean with our our artwork we always want to balance it um, since we have like something really dark here and this one, the igloo could be a little bit darker and shadow here. So just letting you guys know ways to improve like from my perspective. Okay. But nothing, nothing, uh, everything looks really, really, really great. And I would also suggest, um, uh, color these in or color these with another color if you don't want it to be black um, they will just yeah it will just match with the background a little bit more so I'm already like coloring this and the lines are really really thin I uh, I think yeah I think it looks <laughs> wow so there is a lot of things that she has where with this one definitely i need to color this one in so wow oh baby arctic fox sleeping with its mom very cute so i think this one yeah mia definitely did a very nice job so great job mia and then okay let's see we i done that one whoa renato's okay so renato said he wanted to do something completely different that's not what i had in um had in mind but i think this is pretty cool i think he was figuring out things on his own and i i, I think he said he wanted to use acrylic paint I cannot really tell right now. Um, I think the I think the mountains do have some acrylic paint, but I like the overall stroke of this. I I love this one. I think it has that like a like a sad a mellow kind of feeling to it. I just think it's so pretty. Yeah. I am amazed of what he can do. <laughs> wow, this is pretty cool, Renato. Actually, like, um, it does surprise me, of course. And all these colors, it it seems like he was using a dry brush. So I'm trying to figure out how he did this. Uh, he did this blue part, and then he blended this, and then he dry brushed the 
the the grass. Hmm, very very cool. So definitely like this one has his style. I, I like it. I I I I think this is very unique, and this is a very nice try. Very like not not nice try. Like very bold move. So I think this one's bold. This is very adventurous. So I am, you know, uh, giving you a lot of thumbs up, like a million thumbs up. Okay, very cool. And uh, okay, Ronald, oh, Ronald did this tiny little square. I told him to draw a square, and he was drawing it this tiny. Ronald, the square is supposed to be this big, so you will have a lot of space to work with. Ah. <sighs> Okay, but all right, let's just skip on to it. So, I think I think this is cute overall. Um, I would prefer these to be outlined with marker, but I think he outlined this with sharpie and um, um color pencil, which is okay. And um, yes, because it's so tiny, that's why it's very hard to paint and control all these water and yeah. But if it, if your painting were this big, it would make a lot of difference. Run on. So next time, when I say tape, or or please ask mommy to get tape. I I will I will, I will remind her. Okay. So yeah, it makes a lot of difference. And by like, ah, uh, by <laughs> by the size of like the paper. Okay, so, ooh, this is, this is Sarah's. Okay, so Sarah's is pretty cute. I think she was not very interested in the podcast. She has probably not seen a podcast before, but there should be another line on the bottom, and then these should probably be color in, and then um over here I love the colors. I think she did a very nice job with the bottom. The top, I think she probably meant to leave it alone, and I do hope that she color in a little bit more careful because all these got into the mountain, Sarah. Okay, so next time try to control your water a little bit more, and use a brush that is more appropriate for the size. Okay. But overall, I think this one looks okay. Uh, I think the nose kind of blended out, like because it was probably wet. And then the bear looks fine. The mom, the mommy bear, and the baby bear looks cute. Okay, so I yeah, I don't have anything to complain about this one. I think I will have love to see some numbers here. It's maybe just some numbers, and then. Yeah, overall this is cute. And then last but not least one is Vera's. So Vera's dad um taped hers horizontally. So <laughs> she has her her space turn out to be a rectangle instead of a square. But I think she's still very creative in managing how to fix her stuff and make it look very interesting she made this rainbow bar i wish i thought was kind of brilliant like what can i say this is a rainbow podcast <laughs> and okay um she didn't really have too much time on this one but if she did i would hope she would trace these with color pencil and I think this is some kind of hole in the middle here. And uh, yeah, so if these are trays, it will look so much better, okay? But okay, all right, I think that is it. Um, I hope you guys have fun with this one and we will be doing a drawing this week. Okay, bye.